Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today, the Frankfurt Arsenal IntelliDropper Electronic Digital Powder Dispenser and Scale. And so we're gonna jump right into it. Turn it on, hold this down. Oh, my bad. <laughs> you gotta hit the power button to turn it on. Imagine that. So one of the first things you wanna do, I always turn it on when I come downstairs to my reloading bench. I just let it sit for a few minutes. I double check my bubble level here to make sure that the bubble is right in the middle of the window. And there's a little black circle around it so you can uh, make sure of that. I don't move this anymore. I used to move it around back and forth. It does not move now that I have a new reloading bench that's large and I have room to work. And so I let that sit for a minute. After that, I remove the cover. And by the way, this is Bluetooth compatible. So if you don't really even wanna to touch the thing, you can run your phone and run the app off that. And so the first thing I want to do is calculate for the weights that are included with it. And I literally do this every single time. So I zero it out, I hit calculate, or calibrate, sorry, calculate. Calls for a 50, so I put the 50 on there. It's going to flash stable. As soon as it's stable, it stays. I hit calibrate again. It says do 100. I put the other one on here. I try not to bump the dispenser tube if there's already powder in there because it will dispense some powder. It is stable. Hit calibrate. Pass. All right. Oops. So <laughs> this, this shows you one of the problems I have. If you bump the machine in any way because it's been trickling out of this tube, some powder will get on here. I literally just put my finger on here. Blow that off. All right. It's back to zero like it should be. So now what I want to do is since I have CFE 223 already in here, you can calibrate this for the specific powder that you're currently using. And so to do that, which you definitely should do because it's much faster when you do it, you put the included pan back on there and you will see that I have this other one. Um, CFE 223 has a lot of can get uh, affected by static, so it sticks to the metal pan a lot, so I use the plastic one quite often. But anyways, so now we're gonna calibrate the powder. I literally just hit powder cal. And you can barely hear that. It's dispensing at different speeds. And I screwed up, so I'm gonna hit cancel. The reason I screwed up, and I will leave this in this video because I think it's important to note. There we go. I did not zero it out after putting the pan on there. So I'm gonna zero that out. And just little things like that you need to pay attention to, especially when you're reloading, you've got to know things like this. You've got to know to zero your scales out all the time, things like that. So I'm going to do this again. Powder calibrate for CFE 223. So it does it at different speeds so it could recognize it. It's gonna pick up, there it goes. This time spent listening and watching this is definitely worth it. It's rewarding to know that you can calibrate this and after you do this, it will dispense a whole lot faster. So I don't hit the tube and I don't shove this lid back down in there if I don't want powder falling on here. Now I'm gonna show you what I do with this dispenser. And as you recognize, um, this is the type that you can just put right over the a case. But you'll have to re-zero it because it's a little bit 34.3 grains different. So I zero it out, and lately I've been playing a lot with the 6.5 Grindle. And so my favorite charge for the Grindle is 28 grains of several powders, not necessarily this one, but it's worked okay. So I just literally type in 28 like I did there, and then if I want this to do one at a time, I leave it on manual, which is what it is on when you turn it on. If, let me just show you that first. And then I hit start. Ah! 
In the first dump, it did 27.4 grains, and then two or three little tiny little trickles, 28 grains. So from there, let me dump it. All right, so if you're gonna do numerous, and I'm gonna take this off just so I can show you what I'm talking about here. If you're gonna do numerous cartridges, cases rather, um, you got your, your your case holder filled up with cartridges or cases, and you wanna make sure that you can just keep going. You hit mode, it changes it to auto, then you hit start. I still got 28 grains in there, and here we go. Twenty seven point four again. First trickles twenty seven point nine. And then I'll do a tiny little trickle after that, and it's at twenty eight. So some of you may be thinking, well that's not as fast as my press mounted powder dispenser. You're absolutely right. I've been through three different powder dispensers that go on my press, and they are not getting the accuracy that I get in this. My groups are showing it, my consistency, my extreme spreads and everything downrange are showing that this is the way to go. Um, I'm not saying this is the, and then that one's done. It's not the end all do all of, of powder dispensers, but that's how you get multiple cases in a row. You just keep doing that. If you want to change anything, you can hit mode, take it back to manual, or you hit cancel and it zeroes everything out. Um, you can change your units. There's a button here, right now it's in grains because that's what I deal with. You can go grams or grains. I do grains. You can zero things out. If you need to trickle something, I'm going to zoom in on that. That's that's like, heck, I'm going to move you over here. How about that? All right, let me see here. All right, watch this. 0 0.3, 0 0.4. I mean, it's barely dropping anything. 0.5. So it's barely gonna drop anything when you use that feature. All right. Um, but again, always when you start this thing up, run a calibration with the weights. Make sure, or first of all, turn it on, make sure it's level. Run a calibration with the weights. Run a powder calibration every single time. Yes, it takes a few extra minutes. You'll be all right. It's not that big of a deal. But it's totally worth the knowledge and the comfort of knowing that this thing is dropping super accurate loads every single time. I did a test run of these. I dropped 20 separate powder loads in a row, took it off the scale, put it back on the scale, and every single time got exactly the, the powder drop that it said I was getting. All right, and so, and I wanted to show you guys the app. I don't wanna do like a whole screen share because honestly, I'm not really that good at editing video. So we've got the Frankfurt Arsenal IntelliDropper app. You turn it on. It's asking and turn on your Bluetooth. Allow, and you wait for a second. There it goes, it's already connected. It says 0.5 there, it says 0.5 on the screen. All right, so watch this. I'm gonna dump that. Zero, zero, I can go Oh, 29, oops, delete and cancel. I forgot I had my last load in there. 29.5, and then I'll hit load. It received it really fast and dispensed it with pretty much a good quickness there. I, I love this thing, it's so fun. You can, you can store your favorite loads on this app in case you wanna keep them mobile with you and it's done just like that. So, highly recommend it. Um, there have been some reviews online where sometimes the screen, the numbers would not work. Um, an immediate fix to that would be to use the app, but to me, if you go spend $200 on something, it needs to work. So if it breaks, send it back, they're gonna give you a new one. Um, I've never met anybody, I know about six people that have this, I've never met anybody that has had problems with this. Um, I have not, I've had a good time with this. And I think I'm about a thousand rounds into usage on this and probably two or three hundred more practice rounds and test rounds and things like that. But absolutely love it. Um, as I said, the only change I would make is use a plastic dish because of the static that sometimes builds up and holds the, the powder into the pan. That's why I use the plastic one. But other than that, this is a great 
powder dispenser that I absolutely love using. Just give you a top down view of that. And it has been amazing. Highly recommend. So with that, after I give it two thumbs up, um, stay tactical.